Unaware of her impending close encounter, Lynn's about to try on the dress Liam spent six hours choosing for her. It's the most important thing, aside from the venue, isn't it? Hello. Welcome. Hi, Lynn. Lynn, the bride. Yes. Lynn fell in love with a strapless gown, with a sweetheart neckline and a big swishy princess skirt. What will she make of the damaged two-year-old sample Liam has chosen? If he's got the dress wrong, then I'm just going to dread the day. I'm going to dread it. I know it. And I just won't even want to go. I know. Because I just think, well, if he can get this so wrong, what is it coming? What's next? Oh, my God. Should you just pop over there, hon? We'll see you in a minute. Oh, <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Please, Liam. Please, Liam. You ready? OK. Hmm. <laughs> I need to try on. I don't really like this big belt around the middle. I hope that can come off. I don't like it. Are you okay, baby? Yeah. She doesn't sound happy. She's just not going to wear it. She doesn't like it. No, she won't. I wouldn't. I think he has. I wouldn't. I think he has. Are you all ready to see a dress? Yes. Yes. Yeah, here we come. Woohoo! Oh, wow. I was expecting something completely different. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. You still look like a princess. I think I would off. really prefer the dress without this silly strap. That bodice bit is yeah. stunning. But, uh, and all the sparkles I like this brilliant. bit. It's got the swish factor, hasn't it? It definitely yeah. swishes. It definitely swishes. I need to see it. I haven't seen it yet. I think you'll like it a lot more I think when like you look in the mirror. mirror. The moment of truth. <gasps> Oh, yeah. Are you happy? It's much better on the floor, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks yeah. much better. I am. Swishing. Yeah. Like it's growing on me, actually. Oh, that's so yeah. much, much better. better. Look at that. I do like it. I'm happy. Perfect. Apart from one problem. Oh. What? Down there. <gasps> There's yeah, holes in it. Liam had only spotted a small tear, but the girls are finding loads more. There's a big Rips. one up here. That's They're everywhere. He picked I'm not example. wearing it. There's holes in this dress. The seamstress is on hand for you today, and what she'll do is just put a bit of lace applique over the holes, um, so it matches the dress. But unfortunately, because of the time scale we had, he had to have a sample dress straight off the rack. I can't There's wear this dress. Hole, 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 hole. I can't wear it. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, darling. I want it. They're not noticeable, Lim. I'm not wearing a dress with holes in it, Leah. Not wearing it. Did he realise that there was holes? Did he, yeah, did he know? He did know it was a sample, yeah, I don't think. They're boys, they didn't go over it like. Someone needs to get on the phone to Liam now. I don't want this dress. It's a dirty, horrible dress. It's got tears in it. Lynn, they're not noticeable. We couldn't do any alterations, Han, until you tried it on. Wait and see. <laughs> and once it's finished, you won't see them. Let the it's dirty! Try. I want my own dress. I don't no. want a dress that's been tried on by 50 million other people. Oh. Bridesmaid Leah makes an emergency call to Liam. Hello? Hi, Liam here. I have some very bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, what's the bad news? She really, really liked the dress. Um, and then we found that there's a load of holes in it. She's not going to wear it. She won't wear it. We can't she makes her. Thank you. Hi, Liam. How are you doing? Well, not very good now. 
What about uh, the, the, the second option that we were... You remember the second option? Yeah. OK. We can definitely go down that road. That's brand new in. OK. We'll look after you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank Bye. You. Liam's arranged for Lynn to try on another dress he originally looked at. Luckily, it's the same price as the first. Yeah, it's, it's really stressed me out. They, 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 it annoys me that they don't realise that. Do you know what I mean? But, OK. And he, I, I could hear in his voice he was really upset. I think he was sad, cos I, I really think he hopes that he'd got it right for you. He said the second choice is very similar shape, um, so hopefully it's, it's still what you're looking for. OK. Yeah. The unsuspecting bride is at her weekly aerobics class, run by Auntie Andrea. to get married on Friday the 12th of April. Yeah! <laughs> Anyone with a burger? <laughs> oh, my goodness, is the burger a clue? Because we're the first day to the burger van. <laughs> what do you think this means, the burger? It's a stinking burger, the invite. <laughs> with the wedding a couple of days away, it's all hands on deck at the venue. I almost kissed you, in. Eh? Fuck, you got a bit romantic, didn't it? <laughs> and Matt also has to make a final shopping trip to get his high maintenance bride some very low shoes. 25 quid, bargain. Size five as well. I'd like to get her some of a heel leg, but it's just not going to be practical. It was easier than I thought, anyway. Got 25 quid still as well. It's the day before the wedding, and it's time for Rian to try on the dress Matt bought for her. If I don't like it, I'm not wearing it. Simple. No, I'm not going to. The dress she loved was a slinky, satin fishtail frock. When I've got something in my head, I'm so stubborn, that's all I can think about. I'm like a bull. Stubborn bull. Thank you. Yeah, I'm oh. not nervous. Oh, you're not nervous. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Right, well, it's a beautiful dress. I'm not going to say no more Is than it? that. Do you want to come Lovely, through? thank Brilliant. you. There we go. Do you want to go through? The scarlet will bring you the other end. There you go. This is the one. Is this one? It's that one. Is it what you expected? Um. Quite big. Yes. I just hope it doesn't make me look too poof. Do you know what I mean? Like up and then out like that too right, much. Right, right. I, I, I wanted one that was like dee. Do you know what I mean? More I of a know. smoother transition. Right, That's right, what I okay, wanted. Then. Okay. I thought we'd hear a scream. Oh, I love it, I love it, I yeah. love it. But no. I've just got the feeling. Feeling, that I know. It's, it's not going good. It's not going well. No. It's a lot bigger than the ones I tried on, I think. Um, it's lovely made, but I can see little bits of different like gold or something like behind the jewels. That's pretty me off it. I know that's such a I know it sounds really ridiculous. If it makes me look hippie or makes me look bigger than I already feel, I'm not going to wear it. Rian is very, very particular. You know, she won't wear anything. So if she doesn't like it, she'll say, I'm not wearing it. And I can't blame her. It is her special day. Can't wait 
to see you. Is it big? It's a big dress, yeah. It's really big. I'm in between at the moment. I need, I need to see it. It doesn't look right, we'll say. She knows what she wants, and we can't say, oh, yeah, that's lovely, Re, if it's not. No. Me. I wouldn't like to do that. I, I, tomorrow, I'd feel guilty thinking, well, I told yeah. you to wear that dress, and we don't really like it. <gasps> oh, my oh, my God, you look beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, that was lovely. You look absolutely beautiful. It's, yeah, it's stunning. Oh, it looks yeah, it looks oh, absolutely it's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely yeah. yeah. gorgeous, absolutely isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, he's done so oh. well, isn't he? Fair play. Yeah. He's done a really good job. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I really like it. Yeah, it's perfect, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Rian had her heart set on ultra glam, sparkly high heels to avoid looking stumpy. Oh my word. Oh my god. Oh my you god. Can't wear those. I can't wear those. Oh my oh god, my they're god. pumps. They never ah, add with a heel. Oh my pumps god. Pumps with a heel. Oh good god. No. Have a look. Oh, oh that's no. That's nothing like you'd wear. Oh, Ree. Really? Oh, that's spoiler. Look at the dress. Oh my god, they don't even match. Oh, no these way. are bloody terrible. How did you pick those? What? Well, <laughs> look at my feet. Oh. And all the sparkly ones you love. I know. These shoes are. The Possibly some of the most disgusting things I've ever seen. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Perhaps oh you've got god. to walk a long way. You're oh. right. Perhaps he has bought them for a reason. It's been clipped to the venue. So it's obviously weather dependent. <laughs> and we're in wet wheels. Whilst Ben is busy colouring in, Lewis is finally sending his text message invites. Let it bump. Better late than never. The decision to text message, I think Cindy will find it clever and more reliable than paying out for a stamp. We haven't got time now for invites anyway. We have received a message. Really? To Mummy and Lord Jojo. Big day will fall on the 2nd of June in London. In London. in London! Hey. In London! In hey. London! There goes my Oxfordshire State. <laughs> Not particularly impressed with the text message invites. Trying to stay clear from thinking that it's a lazy option again. You will receive the address Sunday morning. Sunday morning morning. Oh my Ooh. god, Sunday, Sunday morning morning. 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 Uh, yeah. Really bugging me that there's a typo. I'd never allow that to happen. That kind of stuff makes me livid. Oh my god, no one's going to know the address until the actual day. Sunday morning morning. It's not going to be in Oxford, it's not going to be in the country. Obviously, it's not going to be a stately home. I'm hoping it's still going to be somewhere really nice. What could possibly be nicer than a warehouse in East London? Money, 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 girls, money, 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 With just two days to go, laid-back Lewis is finally getting round to some serious accounting. 4,200 for the venue. Yeah. 1,220 for the wedding dress. As the boys add up all they've spent over the last few weeks... Props, 1,500. ..the budget is nearly all gone. Cheers, boys. But despite the celebrations, Lewis has that nagging feeling he's forgotten something. Something's going to creep up on me and it's going to be a big sum. Oh, time, my bro. God, I told you it's going to come. <laughs> I ain't got rings. Don't panic yet. <laughs> We had to right, take spend. take booze off. I can't believe we forgot the rings. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Whoops, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Over the next two days, Lewis finally steps up the pace, buying rings. So when is the wedding? It's on Sunday. Oh my god! <laughs> For a whopping four hundred pounds. I'm in trouble. And finally organising the catering for a Caribbean-style wedding breakfast. A platter of chicken. Like this chicken that you got, and, and just rice. Deal done. And it wouldn't be Ibiza without the beach. Well, sort of. We've got 10 metres in here. That is the best colour I've seen. 
we're creating like a beach, so we want to use it as like sand. I hope she liked it. It looks like a beach. And with just twenty pounds left in his pocket, yeah, Lewis has one more thing to buy. Excuse me, where did you get them flowers from? As the boys search the market, they finally track down what they're looking for. And just in the nick of time. So the last few pounds of the budget, and we put the last flowers in South London. Cheers, mate. Taking the last of their money. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, well, that'll hardly fill the venue. But what can you do when you're all out of cash? Still need to transform an empty warehouse into Ibiza? Make sure 150 guests turn up. Build a bamboo DJ hut. Organise the cars and hope the bride doesn't kill you when she sees her dress. Speaking of which, it's the day before the wedding and time for Zinzi to see the gown that Lewis so decisively picked. I'm really, really anxious. Everyone that's at my wedding is going to be having a look at my dress and I really want to feel just the most confident ever, so the dress just means so much. Yeah. If I don't like the dress... OK. It will be really hard for me to hide my disappointment. Just really hope I like it. It's really blingy and shiny and ruffly. Do you want to try it on? Was it on? Honestly, it might look different. Than this one. Okay. Yeah. Even Mum Jojo's starting to feel nervous. Oh, darling, that looks lovely! <laughs> <laughs> it does look lovely, doesn't it? Look! Oh, you look beautiful! <laughs> There's no resemblance to Zinzi's lace dream dress, but Lewis's laid-back approach to dress picking has proven a success. I wonder how many it took to get to this dress. Um, that'll be one. Oh, I just want to see Lou right now. Like, I can't believe I have to wait a whole uh, day to tell him how much I love this dress. Uh, I couldn't be happier. Oh, my God. As the sun sets, Zinzi's worries over her dress are put to bed. But what will she make of the Ibiza-themed warehouse wedding Lewis has got planned? With the wedding looming, Jo still has one big decision to make. How to capture the moment forever for a bride who takes pictures of weddings every weekend. So the photographer said she can do it for six, nine, five, mm. I think it was. Just that expensive. Uh, why don't we just tell all the guests to bring cameras? Or like disposable cameras, just like dotted around the place. And then we'll put the photos together and make an album to send out to everyone that way. It would still it would work out a lot cheaper. 50 quid max. And then you get loads of funny ones when people got drunk and stuff. Yeah. See Dan, you can come up with good ideas. So with two days to go, Joe picks up his throwaway cameras to capture the big day for his picky wedding photographer bride. <laughs> Can't see a problem with that. Got 15. 15. 15. I'll have all 15, yeah. I think, yeah. Get in the boot. That's the photographer sorted right there. <laughs> it's the day before the wedding, and bride Emily is about to discover if her dream of a glamorous, sparkly dress has become a nightmare. The dress thing's like a big deal, yeah. like a massive deal, probably the biggest deal like so far. If he's got it wrong, it's going to be strapless. Strapless yeah. is not the way to go for Emily. The fact that I'm, I'm not going to be able to change it in any way is very worrying, like really worrying. I just hope that I like it. Otherwise, I'll not want to get married if I don't like it. Emily wanted a high neck showstopper with sleeves and sequins, but Joe has gone for bland rather than bling with a safe strapless number. Right, here we go, Emily. <sighs> I'm really nervous. Oh, God. 
Can I have a proper look? Hang on. Yeah. No, it's Take it out and have a look. No, what no, I would have picked. Oh, God. Like, I just, I don't like the... It's got no sleeves. It's, it's just... Like, a, I don't like that bit. I just like it to like, have sleeves and like have a nice neckline, but it's just a straight across boob tube type. Just need to give it a chance and try it on. Yeah, hopefully if it fits nice, you'll you won't feel self conscious yeah. and it's horrible. No, it's the way. Oh, it's the God, it is big, like it, it is big. Like, yeah. Yeah. The actual yeah. dress itself is, is it's it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's just the top. I think the yeah. hips as well. Yeah, I think yeah. everything needs it just needs to pull it in right in. in. I just don't feel nice. I don't feel pretty. I just feel gross. I think once you see it in the mirror, yeah. You'll, yeah. you'll feel so much yeah. better. Oh no. What's the matter? I just don't like it at all. I just I don't, don't like it at all. But like at the oh minute, God, you have it like you look so back pretty. Back Emily, you're gonna look beautiful. Bye. I just don't like the top. Like all the, the other ones I tried on, like made me look nice, but like this makes like my hips stick out. Oh no, it's not what you. No, it's not what I wanted. <laughs> we don't want you feeling horrible. No, though. I don't want you to feel horrible, darling. I want you to feel happy. I want you to feel really happy. I mean, if you think... don't feel happy, then we'll have to do something about it. Have like... you got a veil or anything? No, there is no veil. Okay, you've just got the dress. You do have shoes. I do have shoes. Yay! Her <laughs> shoes are here. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Let's see the shoes. Here's here's the shoes. Here's the shoes. Okey-doke. Let's have a proper look. Let's have a I look. Turn them around. It. Well, they are not oh. corn shoes. They're not. They're not satin, no. at least. They're kitten heels. They're kitten heels. Look, these are awful shoes. No, they don't look nice. <laughs> they're shiny. They're so shiny. I'm sorry, but I don't like them. Um, no, that's awful, Emily, and I should be supporting you, but they're just. Do the shoes fit? Yeah. No, they're massive. Look, they don't even fit. With the shoes too big, bridesmaid Becky puts in an emergency call to Prince Charming. Hello? Joe, what are them shoes you've got on? We want some more of them. She hates them and they really don't go with the dress at all. Well, I don't know. I honestly don't know what shoes to get. Something with a little bit more of a heel. I can't go for any more of a heel. There's not a chance. I don't want to look like a proper bellend when she's taller than me. She needs different shoes. No, only are the two big. They're just disgusting. <laughs> It's just a similar thing to the bridesmaid's dress. Ring us up, tell us it's awful, and then give us no app, like nothing at all to work with. Like, I'd, I don't know what they're expecting from us. Joe has left money for dress alterations, but with huge shoes, no veil, and a dress she hates, Emily is now dreading the day she's always dreamed of. I just want to feel comfortable and pretty on the day, and if I don't, then that's it, ruined. Like, I, it's going to be horrible tomorrow, because I'm just going to be like, oh, don't... Hi. I got something for you. My hands are shaking. What is it? I don't know, darling. It's another surprise. What are they, Vic? Dollars. LA. Are we going to America? So is it just cheating? No one else is coming. With this when they all walk through the door. An arm pen to give you away. No one else could be here because they can't um, either afford them or leave their jobs and their family. Um. Well, at least I've got you, hey? Mother's on city curve. Everybody has just been in bits these last four days. It's been really hard. But it's just me. I'm gutted that no one else could be here. It's meant to be like the most happiest time ever, and now I just feel gutted that no one else can do it. <laughs> Hello. He's not a horrible person. He's not a bad person. He loves me and he loves Sienna, and you know that. 
And until I know that people are OK with him and me, I can't be happy about it and I shouldn't be feeling like this. Facing a wedding without her sisters, stepdad or best friend Laura, Victoria must decide whether to even get on the flight. I just feel heartbroken. I wouldn't care if we were going there. It's just, it doesn't matter, do you know what I mean, if everyone was there. But I can't believe that you just got no trust. one is coming. I don't know who is trying to impress, because to me, this is like, at the moment, I just feel like, I feel like crap. The fact that my sister's not even here. I'm well, sure he won't be going on his own, will he? With four days until the wedding, an anxious Lloyd has just arrived back in America. And luckily, he was 35,000 feet in the air as Victoria was finding out his plan. By now, um, Victoria will be at, uh, at the, uh, at the airport at Heathrow at the moment and uh, should have got my invite, so... It's even making me panic just talking about it. I can't even get my words out thinking about it. Like, with me, family's really important, so... Knowing how I'd feel, I don't think it's going to make it easy for her, knowing sort of she's going to be coming out here with not much family, but um, I'm just hoping she'll put her new family, obviously me and Sienna, first, and hopefully that'll sort of keep her happy. After a difficult night, Victoria has made a decision. It is about me, Lloyd and Sienna, and that's the way it's got to be, and I'll just go with it and know that he's trying to do everything that he can. If I'd have known, I wouldn't have packed my welly boots. Let's go, Sienna. Michael's still really upset about the situation, but I spoke to my sister last night, Lindsay, and she said, I'm sorry that I can't be there with you, but, you know, enjoy it and take it for what it is and just, you know, have a lovely time and look after Mum. And with her mum already off on an earlier flight, Victoria checks in with daughter Sienna and her bridesmaid, Jenna. I still don't know what day the wedding is, even though Jenna's allowed to tell me. I've still said, I don't want to know. Where are you flying to? I don't know. No, where am I going to? <laughs> LA. I don't know anything. He's probably wondering if I'm even going to turn up, to be honest, because he probably thinks that I'm gone mental and hit the roof. <laughs> In LA, Lloyd is hitting the shops. He's quickly blown the rest of his budget on an £850 blinged up ring for Victoria. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. And £800 on decorations to distract Victoria from the concrete. Sweet. Smashing it. I'm going to do two weddings. I'm going to be a wedding planner. Meanwhile, Victoria's landed in LA. She's about to get a first glimpse of the wedding dress Lloyd chose for her a dress she'll be wearing tomorrow on Muscle Beach. I'm very, very nervous. I want to love the dress, so I, I just hope that I do. Victoria might not have wanted a wedding abroad, but Lloyd has at least done one thing she approves of. But I'm now going to look at a dress in Beverly Hills is, like, absolutely insane. Yeah. For a girl who struggled to find her own dream dress, the enormity of Lloyd's task has hit home. Looking, I wouldn't know where, where to start. Would you like to see your dress? <gasps> I would love to see it. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Moment of truth, girl. Yes. <laughs> I've got my eyes shut, too. God, I hope she likes it. I'm so scared. Right. Well, one, two, three, open. Oh, my goodness. No reaction. Oh my goodness. <gasps> she was adamant in that shop, she wasn't having a veil that really? day. She went mad, she wouldn't even try one on. Oh, I need a tissue. <laughs> and I said I didn't want a veil, I'm like, that's just beautiful. And he has just picked the most amazing thing ever. I just want to put it on. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm to cry. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I've got a veil. <laughs> I know. You didn't want a veil. I know. 
It looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Obviously, it's been such a big thing and to make the choice to come here and upset a lot of people. But he's just thinking of me. Time to see the full effect in the mirror. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I could cry anymore. The dress is, like, out of this world. Are you sure you don't want to know the day you get married, Vic? No. You don't want to know how long you got away? No. I don't care where it is. I just want to get married.